It's not every day that you get to practice overtones in a giant studio. I'm at Sonic Ranch Recording Studios outside El Paso, Texas. Whoa, 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 this is that? it right here? Yeah, that's it. Been down here for a couple of days celebrating my good friend. Gotcha. It... That's Sean Hurley taking I, care of business. Would you be able to email me the, the notes of our conversation? That's Kevin Lovejoy, also taking care of business. How's it going? Good. Today, as I'm filming this, is David Ryan Harris's 50th birthday. I'm gonna put in some applause. Maybe. Oh, cool. I like that. Thank yeah. You. Everybody say happy birthday, David. They're saying it right now. Thank you, guys. He's touched. Thank you. I'm touched. <laughs> <laughs> so for David's 50th birthday, he thought it would be a fun idea to just get some of his best friends, musician friends, together in a studio for the better part of a week and record some music. Great idea. Good choice, David. All right, so the studio is super cool. It has so many parts to it, so many different rooms, actually several different studios, and a lot of it's underground. Well, it's half underground, so check this out. So the whole studio, that's the big studio, the big room over there. That and this room are both put halfway underground, I guess for soundproofing reasons. This is the second time I've been to this studio. The first time I was here was to record a little record called... Wait for it. Recognize that? This right here is the chair on the cover of Snarky Puppy's Culture Vulture, which won a Grammy, which was recorded here. I think it was like end of 2015 we were here. This place can just accommodate a lot of people, both as a studio, but also it has the facilities like for people to, you know, put people up. The food every day is just fantastic. So this is the main control room, the Neve room. This is where we did most of the tracking for Snarky's record in this big room in here. Check this out. There were like two or three drum kits, several keyboards, guitars. And then the horn section, the Snarky horn section, we were in this isolation booth over here. I don't know where the light is. All right, it's a little dark in there and I don't know where the light is. But we basically did all the tracking in there or like scratch tracks. So we were playing along with the band who was in there. And this way we were isolated, but we could still work out parts because when recording a record like that, it's a process where it's not like we're reading sheet music and everything's already worked out. Everybody's contributing to the process as it goes along. That's kind of what's happening here as well. So we tracked in there just like scratch tracks. And then when we knew everything that we were going to do, uh, the horn section went back into that big room over there and we tracked the real thing in there. I'm told for the next record they're they're building a new like horn studio back in there, which would be cool. So are you um, just using fabric from like that you're finding or is this your own fabric that okay. you travel with? So the fabric, this is a design from a buddy of mine and his wife. It's called drum tortillas. So it's kind of <laughs> like a, it's like a tortilla fabric. They come in different designs and colors and I like them because they have vibey moods. Yeah. I think they, they all have a, a mood. So I switch them out versus uh, the tune and the music I'm playing. And so you could, ha you could put them on the full drum. Yeah or you could put them halfway and it gives a different tone. I call it a halfway, the ta Terrence Taco. The Terrence Taco. Yeah, the Terrence Taco. I like halfway, that. Yeah. These are just some sham wows. Well, like what you wash the car <laughs> yeah, with. what you dry the car with. Yeah, yeah. dry the car with, right, yeah. right. You know? 
a few of my little textural toys. What, what are we doing? Well, you can, you can turn it on you. Look at that. Why would I? Why would I want to do that? All right. We're going on adventures. We're headed to barbecue. We were waiting on you guys to come back and say we're leaving. Then I looked and I was like, do I see brake lights? Are they in the car? And then David rounded the corner. Are we recording? <laughs> oh no. We are, but why is the light? Who needs Because I'm so black, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, this thing, I feel like I can run into anything. Yeah, you'd be alright. I had rented one for like, I was in Detroit for like a week. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, that was my beer. If you're not familiar with David Ryan Harris, I really recommend just look him up, look up his music. He's got several albums out. He's an incredible singer. I first met him playing in John Mayer's band over 10 years ago. His vocal range is tremendous. His sense of rhythm and groove and pocket. And I mean, to see him play a solo show with just acoustic guitar, it's one of the funkier things that, uh, that I've experienced, but not just funky, beautiful too. Like he's a great songwriter and just super melodic. I can't say enough good things about the guy. I can't remember if I put something in this vlog the, the last time I played with him in LA or not. <laughs> Also, we're joined by Sean Hurley on bass, who's here, also played in, in Mayer's band, and JJ Johnson, who I also met playing in Mayer's band. Can you smell his breath? That's a fun group. This is the most important part of any recording session, right? Right, Mario? I mean, you really can't get much done without a leopard print stiletto. <laughs> Oh my God, you did it! No, I almost did it. I got the cue ball in. Oh, <laughs> that's not good.